commission page has done some work on that. And I second with both. The conversation started after Commissioner Marshall's suggestion. Um, because we already have the city of Austin with a youth council. We have two wide league programs that come out of the city and county school systems that are very similar. And we also have leadership lounges youth component, which all these programs are very similar. And so I know that from a time and funding standpoint, um, the city of Austin has said that it's a commitment. It's a commitment for staff. It's, it's a funding commitment. There's a lot more to it than holding several meetings for these students to come through. There needs to be value to the program. So I've spoken with the new mayor. I've spoken with the city manager. I've also spoken with Ashlyn Johnson, who's the city's public information officer, who is responsible for the program at the city. And they were all very positive about us combining a program with theirs. Um, they already have bylaws, they already have a framework, they already have great experience in having utilized this program and executed it for several years. Last year or the year before last, they also started accepting students from the county schools. So they've already combined it from a practical standpoint. Um, they are spending $4,000 a year on the program. Um, so there's an opportunity there to have that, split that funding, and then if we partnered, that would give a lot of extra hands on deck with our staff and helping with that. And again, going back to the culture change that we mentioned earlier with litter and with animal care and, and with the fire department education, to have a local government youth council begins that culture change with our citizens for them to understand how in so many ways we are one community and we work together. And this is the difference between the city and the county. And it's not an ally, it's a partnership and you need both. Um, and there's no curriculum for local governments in any of the public school systems in the state. There's just not room or time because every local government is different. So it's an opportunity for us to work on some soft skills with these young people, which we know is a challenge, and to teach them about abnormal tax and the services um, that local governments provide and what their taxes actually fund and those types of things. So we're excited if it meets Commissioner Marshall's expectation and you all are in agreement for us to continue exploring that partnership. We would love to have a joint program. I have no objection to doing that again. It's an effort that we have a joint program that we're working on. It really, to me, doesn't make a lot of sense that the city has one and the county has one and again we're trying to accomplish the same thing so if there's that opportunity to work together and that we can be a part of it i'm all the night you want the best best thing we can organize the project here uh, because you know we know what the city offers but the, the, the even bigger picture and the, the bigger component of this is that the county we not only offer the normal departments we, we have the judges Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, we have a tax commission, we have right. a clerk of the court, we yeah. have a solicitor general, all of that to, to, to put into that package. This was a concept that Richard Rains brought up when he was on the board and, uh, and, and wanted us to work through the school systems and that became a little bit problematic. It was another uh, box to have to check the school systems. So, what the page is just described is uh, sort of more efficient, efficient and effective. So, yeah. Just with ACCG have some um, sidewalks and some standards because we had started their program the original meeting when it was trying to get it together. We still have. We'll pull those down and we'll pay them for sure. Okay. Any hesitation?